really successful in terms of watching where the growth is in the world and identifying the companies that are, you know, um, solving important problems. What excites you right now? What, what, what can you look at in the world today that you feel like, wow, that is a good idea or that is really where the growth story is? Um, I'm, always, I'm always nervous about the excite, being excited about things because that always feels too irrationally exuberant and too emotional. And Like I, 1999. Uh, yeah, so I went through 99, <laughs> so a lot of people were very excited and that was, was, was dangerous. But um, if you ask what are the things where there's you know, what, what's very charismatic uh, and that people are not paying enough attention to. I think there are these pockets in biotech that I, I find like that. You know, the one other one that I've, I've, I've been looking at a lot more have been the uh, cryptocurrencies. Uh, and, uh, and while I'm skeptical of, of most of them, uh, I, I do think people are, are, um, are a little bit, uh, are maybe, maybe underestimating Bitcoin uh, specifically because it is like, it's like a reserve form of money. It's like gold, um, and um, and it's just a store of value. You don't actually need to use, to use it to make payments. And it's been, you know, it's there's about seventy billion dollars worth of Bitcoin in the world. There's nine trillion worth of gold, and um, and if Bitcoin ends up being the cyber equivalent of gold, you know, it has a it has a it has a great potential left. So that's and it's a it's a very different kind of thing from what people in, Sil Sil people in Silicon Valley normally focus on companies, not, you know, algorithms or protocols, but uh, this may be, this may be uh, one exception that's, uh, that's very underestimated. Well, people question it, and I know there's been so much debate about Bitcoin, but they question it because what is it based on? I mean, you see that the dollar is based on, you know, the, the trust of the Treasury, the trust of the U.S. government. What is Bitcoin based on? Well, the, the argument, it's, it's based on the, um, on the security of the math, which tells you that it can never be, um, it can never be diluted by a government. It can never, um, it can never be, it can't be hacked, um, and it's a form of money that's absolutely, uh, that's secure in an absolute way. Um, and uh, of course, you could ask the same questions about gold. That's why I use the gold analogy. You could say, what, what is gold based That's on? True. Why is gold yeah. valuable? Well, it's a, it's a tangible asset, though, gold. It's a tangible asset, but it's also hard to mine. So if it was easy to mine gold, then it wouldn't be that valuable because we would just have way more gold. So Bitcoin is also, um, it's, it's, it's mineable like gold. It's hard to mine. It's, it's actually harder to mine than gold. And so in that sense, um, it's, it's more constrained. And so, yeah, there, there are a number of things that, uh, that, uh, that I think make it somewhat similar to gold. And then the question is just, does this become, does this become um, more widely? And, and it's anonymous, widely. right? I mean, that's one of the, the beauties of it. You it's, can be anonymous using Bitcoin. Yeah, it's, it's half anonymous, half not. So it's, it's, again, this intermediate thing. There's a question whether that's right or not. But it's, it's a bearer instrument. So if you, if you have the Bitcoin, if you know the key, you can, you can go anywhere. Most of the time, um, most securities are registered, not bearer security. So it's a very unusual kind of a security.